வணக்க நேயர்களே நம்ம இப்போ மிக முக்கியமா மாணவ ஒரு சாப்டருக்குள்ள போறோம் நம்ம இந்த என்ட்ரன்ஸ் பிசிக்ஸ சில டொமைன்ஸா பிரிச்சிருந்தீங்க பொதுவா பிசிக்ஸ் அப்படின்றது மூணு தீம்குள்ள அடங்குது அந்த மூணு தீம் என்னன்னாக்க மூவிங் திங்ஸ் அப்படின்னு சொல்லக்கூடிய மெக்கானிக்ஸ் சாப்டர் நியூட்டன்ஸ் லா ஒர்க் பவர் எனர்ஜி கிராவிடேஷன் கிராவிடேஷன் பொட்டன்சியல் இது போன்ற பகுதிகள்லாம் அதுக்கு பிறகு ரெண்டாவது பகுதி என்னன்னா ஹவு திங்ஸ் ஒர்க் ஆறு முதல் பத்து வகுப்பு வரை இருக்கக்கூடிய பாடப்பகுதியில பாத்தீங்கன்னாக்க எலக்ட்ரிசிட்டியும் மேக்னடிசமும் நம்ம வந்து மிக அதிகமா வந்திருக்கிறத பார்க்கலாம் அது வந்து மூவிங் திங்ஸ் என்ற தலைப்புல வந்திருக்கக்கூடிய ஒரு பகுதி இப்போ நம்ம என்ன பாக்குறோம் அப்படின்னாக்க ஒரு சார்ஜ் நின்னா அதுக்கு பேரு எலக்ட்ரோ ஸ்டாட்டிக்ஸ் பேரு பனிரெண்டாம் வகுப்பு முதல் பாடம் அதுல தான் ஆரம்பிக்கும் நிக்கிற சார்ஜ பத்தி படிச்சா அது எலக்ட்ரோ ஸ்டாட்டிக்ஸ் சார்ஜ் நகர்ந்தா அதை பத்தி படிக்கிறது கரண்ட் எலக்ட்ரிசிட்டி சார்ஜ் நகர்ந்தா மூணு விதமான விளைவுகள் அது ஒரு கண்டக்டர்ல ஏற்படுத்தும் கண்டக்டர்ல ஹீட்டை ப்ரொடியூஸ் பண்ணும் அதுக்கு பேரு ஹீட்டிங் எஃபெக்ட் பேரு ஒரு கண்டக்டர்ல சார்ஜ் ஓடுச்சுனா உருவாகக்கூடிய கரண்ட்னால ஒரு மேக்னடிக் ஃபீல்டு கிரியேட் ஆகும் அதை பத்தி படிக்கக்கூடிய சாப்டர் இது அப்போ சார்ஜ் நகர்ந்தா வரக்கூடிய கரண்ட்னால மேக்னடிக் ஃபீல்டு வந்ததுன்னா மேக்னடிக் ஃபீல்டு நகர்ந்தா கரண்ட் வருமா அப்படின்னு கேட்டா வரும் அந்த சாப்டருக்கு பேரு எலக்ட்ரோ மேக்னடிக் இன்டக்ஷன் பேரு கரண்ட் ரெண்டு வகைப்படும் ஆல்டர்னேட்டிவ் கரண்ட் அண்ட் டைரக்ட் கரண்ட் இதை பத்தி படிக்கிறது வந்து ஆல்டர்னேட்டிங் கரண்ட்ன்ற ஒரு சாப்டர் அப்போ ஒரு சாப்டர் இன்னொரு சாப்டரோட வலைப்பின்னலை போல தொடர்பு படுத்திட்டு வருது இப்போ இத நான்கு பகுதிகளா பாக்குறோம் பகுதி ஒன்று கரண்ட்னால வரக்கூடிய மேக்னடிக் எஃபெக்ட் சொல்லக்கூடிய ஆஸ்ட்ரட் எக்ஸ்பெரிமெண்ட் இப்படி உருவாகக்கூடிய மேக்னடிக் ஃபீல்டினுடைய டைரக்ஷனை கண்டுபிடிக்கக்கூடிய ஆம்பியர் சுவிமிங் ரூல் மேக்சுவல் ஸ்கார்க்ஸ் ரூல் ரைட் ஹேண்ட் தம் ரூல் மேக்னடிடியூட் அந்த மேக்னடிக் ஃபீல்ட் கண்டுபிடிக்கக்கூடிய பயட் சபர்ஸ் லா இந்த மேக்னடிக் ஃபீல்ட ஸ்டேட் கண்டக்டர் சர்க்குலர் கண்டக்டர் சொலினாய்டு போன்றவர்களுக்கு கண்டுபிடிக்கிறத நம்ம முதல் பார்ட்டா வச்சிருக்கோம் ஓவராலா இந்த சாப்டர் என்ன சொல்ல வருதுன்றத மிக தெளிவா பார்க்கலாம் Scientists for years and years and years knew there was some link between magnetism and electricity, but they couldn't find it. Um, there were a lot of clues that point in that direction. If you take two magnets, let them go. North goes to the south, just like positive goes to negative. If you pull them apart, there is a force between the two, and that force gets greater the closer those two magnets get together. It's just like charges. There's an attraction between the two, and actually Coulomb's law applies to both. magnetic fields and magnetic forces and electric fields um what they also knew is that magnetic fields are are created and can be measured using a compass so if you take a bar magnet like this and move a compass around it you can see that it's lining up with that magnetic field and so what they wondered is maybe if we take a compass and move it next to a charged object as we move it around that charged object it's going to point towards the charged object but it simply didn't so it didn't seem like charges were producing any kind of a magnetic field and then a brilliant uh, danish scientist named hans christian orsted um moved the charge so what he's got here is a current so we've got a current or we know now that it's electrons that are but the conventional current's going to be in this direction and so what he found is that as the current moved through the wire it actually deflected a compass so that particle that charged particle has to be moving and so we could demo this in a science lab imagine if we have a wire coming out of a table and we just put a bunch of uh, compasses around it so we've got the wire coming out of the table it's coming towards us then we've just lined a bunch of compasses up but we haven't turned on the current watch what happens when we turn on the current in that wire see that we're creating a magnetic field around the wire and you can measure that um and where it is so if you have a wire that's a straight wire so not a curved wire and it has a current flowing through it then we're going to have a magnetic field that goes around that wire and we can measure the magnitude of that magnetic field and it's really based on two things the first one is going to be the amount of charge so how much current we have moving through that wire 
There's a direct relationship between the two. The more flow there is, the more magnitude we're going to have in the magnetic field. And then we have the radius or the distance from the wire. And so again, this wire is in cross section. So this would be the radius, or the distance away from that wire. And so there's an inverse relationship. In that. The greater the radius is, the, the smaller that magnetic field is going to be. Now, how do you figure out which way the magnetic field is going to be? Well, the direction is going to be determined by the right hand rule. So what you use is your hand again, but the thumb is going to show where the current is. And then the curling of your hands like this are going to show you where that magnetic field is. And so in this case, I could just, I, I know the magnetic field is going from the left to the right. I can see that in my diagram right here. And so is the current flowing towards me or away? If I hold my thumb like this, it's coming towards me. So it's coming through the wire at us like that. And so scientists, again, figured out that a magnet is going to generate a magnetic field. And so in this PHET simulation, what I'm doing is moving the compass around the bar magnet. And you can see now the south end of the compass is pointed towards the north end of the bar magnet. But as we move it around to this side, now it's the north end of the compass pointed at the south end. And so if we look at a uh, simple circuit, so what we've got here is a battery and then a wire that loops back. Watch what happens now when you uh, put a compass and just kind of move it around. This simple, this is just a simple electromagnet. You can see it's not affected by it at all. But once I turn the voltage on, then you can see it's really essentially a magnet. It's a magnetic dipole. So as we move it around, you can see that compass is all spinning. And so if we turn on the magnetic field, you can see where those field lines are going to be. And I turn the electrons on as well. You can see it's being attracted or we're creating a magnetic field. Watch what happens if I turn off that current, it goes to zero. You can see that there's no magnetic field anymore. If I move the compass, it's not going to respond. Let's move it in the other direction. You can see now we've got those field lines. What's going to happen if we add more wires? Well, we're adding more current. So watch what happens to the electric field. It's greater and greater greater over time. And so here's that right hand rule. If we've got uh, current moving through a wire, this is conventional current. All you do is just point your thumb in the direction of where that current is moving. And then as your fingers curl around, it's going to show you where that magnetic field is. So right here, we've got current going up. So I'm going to put my thumb up. So then we have the magnetic field that's turning around like that. So the current's going in the other direction, magnetic field is going to go in the opposite direction. How do we quantify it? Here's our equation for that magnetic field. It's going to be the magnetic permeability. Remember, that's the ability of a material to support a magnetic field. And this is just a free space. It's going to be one, essentially. We then have the current, which is going to be how much electrons or how much conventional current is through the wire. Then we've got 2 pi over r. So again, if we increase the radius, we're going to decrease that magnetic field. If we increase the current, so since it's on top of this equation, it's going to increase the magnetic field. Now, you might recognize this on the bottom. What is 2 pi r? That's going to be the area of a circle. And that's because as we move farther out from that wire, we're going to have a 2 pi r relationship between uh, the amount of current and then the magnetic field. And so another important thing that you should understand is if we have multiple wires that are going right next to each other. So let's say we have a wire and the current is moving from bottom to top. Can you figure out which way the magnetic fields are going to be? Is your thumb pointed in the direction of the current? So you should have your magnetic fields going like that. But let's say we have another wire right next to it and it also has current going up. Well, what's going on right here is that we're actually having a magnetic field act on those electrons as they're moving through this, um, this wire. And so we can figure out the direction in which that force is going to act. So we're going to use our other right-hand rule. Remember, that's this right-hand rule, where we point in the direction of the movement of the particle. We then have our magnetic field represented with our middle finger, and then the force is going to be our thumb. So it looks like that. So what we've essentially got is the current in this direction. The magnetic field is going to be in that direction. So we're going to get a force. So again, we're pointing up like that. We got a magnetic field like that, so the force is actually going to go to the middle of those two wires. And likewise, if we put the other magnetic fields of that wire on, then we're going to get a force that is pushing towards the middle. So if you have two wires and the current's moving in the same direction, there's going to be a force pulling those wires together. So a way to think about that is if uh, the current flows together, then the wires go together. It's going to pull them together. Likewise, if we are going in the opposite direction, if they flow apart, then those uh, wires are going to move moving apart because we're going to get forces that are moving away from that center.
And so did you learn to create a representation of a magnetic field around a wire or a set? Ipo deliver in the path of Dinaka or current carrying conductor Nala Azuka perpendicular or magnetic field produce on Austria conductor in the magnetic field or a Madipu in her Kumaka current a Purto current or a direction of Purto Nama magnetic field as a Chutti mesh up and rap on the distance of Purto Marbur under the path day straight wire. Circular wire and parallel wires in the magnetic field. Magnetic field magnitude, magnetic force value. That is the same thing. We will see 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 the same thing. We will our sonar electric current to do magnetic field produce ponno abdin sonar. Our experiment is confirmed under charge in the chutti electric field kramari charge in Aganda Varakudi a current in all over chutti magnetic field create abu abdin to the confirm under conductor la charge irkramudike charge flow aramudikata irko charge in the magnetic field kade. Charge current time or magnetic field रखो अब इन रहते अगर confirm मंडर दौड़ा है अगर perpendicular direction ले रखूँ रहता confirm मंडर अपो ये moving charge produces a magnetic as well as electric field unlike a stationary charge which only produces an electric field नगराद charge बंदी electric field रहता है produce पन्नो नगरर charge ये electric field ही magnetic field ही produce पन्नो or current carrying conductor and the magnetic field produced under the other day experimental proof and come charge in the direction Monday magnetic field or direction current direction reverse are up reverse are the other proof and I power current carrying conductor lab current to power up perpendicular or magnetic field create are the Austin experiment confirmed a power battery connected or electrical circuit pocket lab or compass needle of a cha, other north south pakame, or direction, a current direction, all over magnetic field direction, let's change our path. Current reverse pandra po in the magnetic effect reverse are there in the experiment confirm under the number path in the Austrian experiment. Today, I will come back. Sometimes, but not that. Now he was asked to post 
students will be now current is not but as soon as current starts flowing you will find that there is a deflection in it. and the direction of deflection of it is by the wire as the right hand. 